Niels has a problem. Because his car broke down, he couldn't make it to the lecture. Later on campus, Niels meets Nina. She tells him, Today's lecture was about rolling bearing damage. There are many different types of damage, each of which occurs due to different causes, but almost all of them have in common that they can be avoided. The only form of bearing damage that cannot be avoided is fatigue damage. This occurs after a bearing has reached its fatigue life. This is normal and therefore fatigue damage is also called natural bearing damage. Nina explains to him, other types of damage, however, only occur if, for example, there are lubrication errors, assembly errors, or incorrect operating conditions. That is why they are called unnatural bearing damage. When rolling bearing components wear out, this is called wear. A distinction is made between two types of wear. Abrasive wear is largely caused by hard particles in the bearing. These remove material from the surfaces, causing them to be continuously damaged. Adhesive wear occurs when there is a slippage between two contact surfaces. A transfer of material takes place between these surfaces, which can lead to rehardening zones. Due to local stress concentrations, this increases the risk of cracking in the contact area. When the yield point is exceeded, permanent deformations, so-called plastic deformations, occur in rolling bearing components. Exceeding the yield point can be caused by overload, which comes from load or shocks, or by indentations caused by particles that penetrate the bearing and are then rolled over. Cracks and fractures are among the most common types of bearing damage. Reasons for their occurrence include insufficient lubrication, and extreme loads that can be triggered by impacts. In contrast, corrosion is the result of a chemical reaction. It most frequently occurs due to the effect of moisture. However, there is also so-called fretting corrosion, which can occur as fretting or false brunelling. Niels says, if only car breakdowns could be avoided as easily as rolling bearing damage, then I would never miss a lecture again. If you find rolling bearings just as exciting as Nina and Niels, we recommend you take a closer look at the articles here on bearingwizard.co.uk.